Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Rachel Varga. I'm a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist and also celebrity skin expert. I love helping people from all over the world discover some of the best at home and in clinic skin and rejuvenation options. So I have had it brought to my attention that Khloe Kardashian has recently, you know, come out with having a different face and I love it when people on my social media at Rachel Varga official or you know just DM or email me things that they'd love for me to go over and in particular celebrity stuff this is so much fun for me to do with you guys here if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel already please go ahead and do so leave a comment below as to maybe another celebrity that you'd like me to review so getting back to Khloe Kardashian, I'm gonna be making some notes here with my handy dandy finger on her face. So when we look at her facial shape, so before she had sort of like an elongated face shape, sort of like rounded, rounded, and now she has you know that similar elongated face shape. However, the jawline and the chin has significantly changed. So what would change would be you know this little aspect here so this is what's otherwise known as the dao muscle and we can actually augment this muscle with some injectable treatments to slim the face so this can help to get rid of things like jowls so in in this photo here, this is one of the things that I think she's had done is some jawline contouring with a specific type of product called a neuromodulator and then if you also look what what else is interesting with her with her upper lip here her upper lip shape looks totally different so gone are the days of the duck lips looking hot i mean i never thought that looked hot but anyways i digress the uh the lip shape is going more to that lower lip pout with a little bit more volume to the chin and that's exactly what she's what we're seeing here with her this is like that cookie cutter celebrity type look do i love it you know what i love are natural looking features in that are respective of the ideal facial ratios so you can just google that that's really interesting because some of the most beautiful celebrities actually have certain facial structures and proportions and alignments and what's happening here is you know on, on the, the the pre photo on the left she definitely has that like pillow lip look you know big cheeks strong contour jawline and now on the right it's like that almost like caricature like slimmed jawline i'm actually writing a paper on being able to slim the dao muscle there it's really quite fascinating but yes her upper lip shape has changed it's less volumized but what's also interesting in this photo here is her forehead so if we look at you know her hairline before uh, it was almost like that little witch's peak, if you will. And then in her hairline afterwards, it's just straight across. So obviously this photo is going to be photoshopped. It's going to be face tuned. But what would adjust that hairline shape could even be when she's getting laser skin resurfacing, going around the edges and just cleaning up the edges to get rid of um, that little point there in the hairline, which is really, really interesting. So in respects to another aspect of her face is her nose. There's definitely been some adjustments to the nasal bridge as well as the tip, which would likely be done during a rhinoplasty. Do I love the idea of using dermal fillers into the nose? No, there's been many cases of blindness reported from that. So just because you see people getting these treatments online, say, you know, lower eyelid, dark circle filler, and it looks amazing right after. What you don't see are some of the latent side effects that I end up seeing as a clinician. It's actually one of the reasons why I wrote an article on providing optimal rejuvenation to the periocular area last year that I actually won an award on, which is really, really cool. So that's probably from a surgical improvement. And so, so when I look at this photo of her, she's actually unrecognizable. What I'm seeing is is very much what's, what Khloe Kardashian has looked like for many, many years in the before photo. And then when you look at this after photo, it's sort of like that face-tuned type of face shape that we're seeing all over Instagram right now. 
And uh, I think that there's also maybe been a degree of weight loss, but it's pretty crazy what we can achieve with slimming the jawline with injectables. And uh, you know, she does have some more prominence to her chin, to her chin here as well. So I wonder if you know potentially she's had a little dermal filler there or a cheek implant. And of course, she's got you know this incredible glow and tan to her. But it's really quite interesting because when we look at photos like this. Here we have a photo of her on the red carpet and then we have this other photo of her that could be like a highly curated face-tuned image and it's it's very difficult for us to, I mean she's totally unrecognizable to me. There's so much that we can do with makeup. Kim Kardashian's famous for her contouring videos but do I think that you should strive to look like this facial shape ideal? No, I feel like you should really work with the proportions that you already have. But if there are things that you are curious about, you know, what you can do to improve your skin health and just promote things like aging really well, that's kind of where I come in. So people book online consultations with me all over the world. I work with a number of celebrities, which is really, really cool. And that can all be booked with me at rachelvarga.ca. So thanks to you guys for bringing this photo of Kourtney Kardashian to my awareness. And just to summarize everything, she's definitely had some jawline contouring, um, not so much with filler, but actually a reduction and a slimming in certain areas here with her facial muscles. She could have even had um, lower jaw surgery and even have shaved some of that bone down. It's because it's quite dramatic. She has a very um, prominent wide jawline normally and now it's just like almost very, um, almost like what we would see in Korean type of plastic surgery. That very caricature type, very strong angled, um, you know, full cheeks and then very slimmed jawline which actually doesn't look great on everybody so this is a prime example of you know not necessarily going to what looks trendy and what's hot right now on social media and what celebrities are doing but really look at what is going on with your particular facial features but her rhinoplasty you know that that uh, little bit of definition to her nose reducing that nasal bridge i mean I think that it, with how she's looking now, it does create a balance. And then just that sort of um, softening of her hairline there. So instead of it coming down to a point, it's more straight across. But it's pretty wild what we can do with Facetune. And so I'm, I'm unsure if this is actually what she looks like in real life now. I'd be curious to see actually a video of her. So if you're curious, you know, what these people actually look like, I would go for more of a video analysis as opposed to just a photo analysis because you know everything's edited these days as you guys know so that's basically my summary of what i think that chloe kardashian has done in order to achieve this fairly dramatic face shape change rhinoplasty hair removal to her forehead maybe dissolving of her upper lip filler because it's looking smaller now, which is good. And uh, she's had quite a bit of slimming and reformation to her jawline again, which could be done using injectables, but also from surgery as well. But I definitely think that this photo is uh, like photoshopped and filtered and face tuned and all that. I do love her hair color though. That is a gorgeous uh, hair color. I really like her in the brown with that very sort of tanned look to her and the thicker type of brows. It's, um, yeah, it's quite, um, when I look at it, it's quite attractive, but on the flip side, I also see it's like that cookie cutter look that isn't always um, great for people over time. It can create a bit of an imbalance of like really tiny here and then really full here. So you have to watch out for that. So if you're unsure about these treatments, you can always uh, book a session with me at rachelvarga.ca and I can sort of go over what could be helpful for you to improve your skin health, figure out a really great at-home skin routine, what that would look like, things you can do like dermal rolling, red light therapy, and then also come up with a plan for you to maybe follow in a clinic for in-clinic rejuvenation. I love doing this for people all over the world. It's really, really fun connecting with so many of you. So please subscribe, leave a comment down below as to another celebrity that you would like to review as well. All right, it was great hanging out with you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for the next Celebrity Plastic Surgery video.